can have the greatest teacher in the world, Moshe Rabbeinu, the teacher par excellence, handpicked by God. Learn in the most incredible environment without distractions at Mount Sinai with all your needs taken care of and still learn so little. How can it be that the generation that came out of Mitzrayim saw all the great miracles at Har Sinai, spent an entire year at Har Sinai, from Rosh Chodesh Sivan, it says in Parsha Yitro, in the Parsha of Baalot Chah, they leave, it says on, on the 20th of the second month, the 20th of Iyar, one year later, Vayihi bin Saron Vayom Meshe, the famous Pesukim that we say when we take out the Torah, as, Mount, as the Jewish people leave Har Sinai, after learning for a year from Moshe Rabbein in the greatest environment, about to enter the land, and everything goes wrong. They start complaining inexplicably. Rashi brings an opinion that the Sanhedrin were killed. And then straight afterwards complaining about everything. We remember Egypt, how unbelievable it was. Really? That's what you remember after year at Har Sinai? Then the terrible sin of the Meragim, that an entire generation is wiped out. The generation that heard the Dor Dea, the great generation that rose to such heights to hear the voice of Hashem and accept the Torah, the same generation, wiped out in the desert. Ad Kedai Kach, that Rabbi Akiva says, in the Dav Kuf Zayin, Masechet Sanhedrin, that Dor HaMidbar Ein Lo Chelek Lalam Abba. So low did they fall that Rabbi Akiva says, they don't have a share in the world to come. They're like the other generations of Dor HaMabul, uh, and the, the, the most horrific generations. That's how low they could fall. We don't have time in this the space of these few minutes to understand how it could be, what the reasons were, Chazal say, about how, um, what caused these sins. But we see an unbelievable principle that I want to glean. It can be that you can be in the most unbelievable environment from the greatest teachers, have every opportunity to grow, but somehow, because of all types of personal reasons, not able to internalize those lessons. Perhaps coming so soon out of Mitzrayim, from the Memtet Sharei Tumah, not able to fully integrate and transform, which is so hard to do over such a short period of time. But at the end of the day, whatever it was, there was something about Bnei Israel's spiritual and emotional state which impeded their ability, no matter how high they rose, to remain on Mount Sinai and fell to the greatest depths. May we all utilize the opportunities we have, not blame those around us and say it's, it's our teachers, it's our environment, because ultimately the choice is ours. Ein hadavar talui elabi. It's up to us. Shabbat Shalom.